<laughs> Hello my friends, what's up? This video was sponsored by Game Mill Entertainment. They sent me some copies of Nickelodeon Kart Racers 3, Slime Speedway, and they wanted me to check them out, and so I did, and now I'm talking about it. It's like the whole, this, it's like the whole point of this video. This video is happening right that, That's like the point. So, uh, so let's get started. So, first off, if you're an old man like me, just a uh, <laughs> hunched over, graying old man like myself, then going into a game like this, so much of the appeal, the massive amount of the appeal is that nostalgia. I grew up watching Nickelodeon, absolutely loved it. It was the best thing. I had Nick Magazine. It was just the best. <laughs> it was tailored so perfectly to just me where I was at that time. So yeah, like the fact that, you know, this game, it covers a pretty broad range of Nickelodeon shows, you know, like the stuff I grew up, like the stuff, you know, you're Ren and Stimpy, uh, your are Real Monsters, your Rocco's Modern Life, and then even like a little bit later, like Invader Zim, like the stuff that like, that was, that was big for me. But then like, you know, tons of other stuff too. You got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in there. Uh, you got like Avatar, loads of different shows from just across the ages. And you know, of course, and, and my little fact sheet here says over 40 characters, over 90 crew members and 36 tracks. That's a lot of tracks. And like, you know, it's, they're really fun. The tracks are really cool. They're like just completely stuffed with like visual detail and just, I'm, mean, you know, all these different references and stuff. You know, you're racing through like Space Madness and Cat Dog's house. Just like, it's, it's really cool. It's like a museum of Nickelodeon. But then like such a huge detail, such an amazing thing is the voice acting in this game. Cause like it, it adds so much. Like they, they basically have like the official voice actors for like all of these characters. And they've got loads and loads of little lines and quips and stuff that they do like, you know, on the menu while you're playing basically everything. And the thing too is like, there's a, I could see there's a lot of love put into this, this feature. It's the attention to detail because they'll like, I'll be playing a character that like I'm familiar with and they'll just be like spout, they'll, they'll be spouting lines from their respective shows. Like, you know, just like memorable little like voice clips and stuff, but they're all played like contextually, you know, like when you get hit by something or when you, when you start a race or you go through some slime or something like, I don't know, it's just like the stuff that they're saying is just like, hilariously relevant for like what you're doing and no joke like especially when i'm playing like you know ren and stimpy or rocco or something like the the little voice clips that they're giving are like they're literally making me laugh out loud because <laughs> they're just they're just funny you know like these these little lines that have been in my brain since i was a little kid so it's just this really fun little just like oh i remember that oh my gosh that's funny you know that kind of thing it's it's really really fun it really uh, it 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 hits that nostalgia bone quite, quite hard. The nostalgia, it's like the funny bone, but it's like, instead of making your arm go numb, it's just like, I don't, it makes your brain go numb? I don't know, <laughs> what am I saying? So then even further, um, as I mentioned, over 90 crew members. So what's really cool about this is like, you can just kind of build up your own crew. Like you select crew members and like your chief crew member uh, gives you like an ability that like as you collect slime, you fill up the meter and you can use it, which is just like a really cool idea. You know, the game has items, but then in addition to that, whoever you pick as like your chief, you get their little like special move. And then you get to pick two other crew members that just give you like cool, like, you know, whenever you do this, you get this. Like, you know, whenever you get a ball, it turns into a football. You get a boost after such and such. And like, you know, one, just functionally, it's just cool. It's just a neat way to, uh, you know, further customize your experience and have like a little, like a little loadout, you know? But then on top of that, it's just a way to bring in a lot more characters. You know, it's kind of like, a, it's kind of like uh, Spirits in Smash Ultimate, where it's just like, you can't have a full on character for all of these people, but it's just a great way to kind of bring them in and make it feel like they're a part of the experience and they're supporting you, you know? Like I can, <laughs> you know, just like driving and it's just like, oh, thanks Crumb from Our Real Monsters. You really helped me out with that one. I don't know, it's just really cute. It's a way to just include loads and loads of characters, all these legacy characters. And then further with the customizability, um, gosh, there, there's a lot of car, you know, there's carts and there's bikes and there's so much customization, like all these different parts, like there's just like a load of different stats to play with. So it's like, I don't know, they, they give you like a, a whole lot of options to really just tweak everything to exactly the way that you like it. And I don't know, I think it's really cool. And like most of this stuff you can just kind of unlock, like with coins, it's all just in-game currency and you just play races and get coins and use it to unlock other carts and characters and crew members and all that stuff and uh, and that's fun just stuff to do just stuff to kind of work toward and unlock all the time so onto the gameplay 
itself, uh, you know, you, it, it, it's a kart racing game. It feels good to play. You got a lot of your basic stuff. You know, you can you know, drifting and jumping off of uh, ramps to do little tricks and speed boosts and stuff. And um, actually, the drifting, I think it works a little bit differently than in Mario Kart. And so I'm not quite used to it. So it took me a little bit to kind of get it. You know, it's, it's uh, it feels a little bit more... Um, a little more deliberate, you know, you gotta like be in the right situation to use it. So I don't know, I thought that was kind of interesting. And let me tell you, this game is not stingy when it comes to items. Like you just, <laughs> it's pretty cool, it's really hectic. You just get items like kinda constantly. Sometimes you gotta like, oh man, I gotta use this item because there's another item box coming up ahead. Like they're like, nah, nah. there's no like, oh no, only in these couple little sections here and there. It's like, nah, just items all the time. <laughs> it's pretty fun. Um, a lot of the items are, you know, just, you know, the kind of stuff you'd expect. They're fun, you know, obstacles and speed boosts and uh, uh, some really clever ones too. Like there's like these little, these little things that'll happen. Like there's one item where it like sets up a bunch of bowling pins and like you gotta see like who hits the most bowling pins before time runs out. And I don't know, just like kind of cool stuff like that. A lot of, a lot of interesting little ideas. And then items are separated into types, which is cool. So sometimes you get just like a pure random item box, but then sometimes it's, you know, you can kind of, pick which type you want. I don't know. It's another just interesting little thing they added on there. And the tracks themselves are cool. Uh, you know, again, the nostalgia thing, they're all very neat. Uh, the visuals are, are really nice. Everything is really smooth and there's just a lot of visual detail going on in the levels. And um, and the tracks, I really like this. They've got this, uh, cause you know, this is slime speedway. So there's a lot of slime stuff. So you'll have these like, these slime tracks where you like, you go off and it kind of separates from the main track. Um, and you go on like this slide, it's like a slime slide and you gotta like hit the button at the right time to jump over the things and you get like a better boost and better everything, like the better you do it. I don't know, it's just kind of like a nice way to just break up the gameplay and you don't have to go on them. It's just kind of a fun, whooshy visual thing, kind of break up the race. I like it. And then speaking of slime, uh, it, you know, you're like collecting pieces of slime and like there's like slime fountains that are just kind of like spraying out and you drive through them to like build up your meter and that's how you use your chief ability. So like slime is definitely a big part of this. You're always trying to, you know, get as slimy as possible and fill up that meter. And that's another good thing about going on the, the slime slides and everything. And so that's fun. Just another fun little little detail to just kind of make everything weird and very uh, Nickelodeon-y, you know, to kind of, <laughs> it's like, it's kind of nice because it's like a very like Nick flavored through line that runs through every level, like kind of regardless of what show the level is representing. So with like, you know, basic racing, you got like your your basic Grand Prix and free races and all that stuff. Um, but then you got a challenge mode, awesome. Thank you, more racing games need challenge mode. <laughs> just like, you know, just little like collections of challenges. Like, and I like it too, cause it's like, you know, do this thing and win the race. Like it's always, you gotta win the race too. It's like collect this many of these and win the race. Go off this many boosts and win the race. And so they can get kind of tricky. And that's a good way to, uh, you know, unlock new characters. You like challenge them. And so that's fun. I didn't get to do any multiplayer online or anything, um, but it's got online and uh, local play up to 12 players. Awesome. One thing I should mention is uh, performance. I played, uh, I had a copy on PC and on Switch and I kind of got to play both. And, um, and on PC, I imagine that that's a lot like, you know, the other console versions uh, ran really smooth. Looks really good. Graphics are really nice. Um, Switch is definitely, you're making a little bit of a sacrifice and it's, it's actually really, really awesome. I asked them and they were totally cool with me bringing this up. I think that's really, really cool of them. Um, you know, as with a lot of games, a lot of multi-platform games, you know, the Switch, like there's, there's a little downside. The performance isn't quite as good. Frame rate isn't quite as good and all that stuff. Um, to me, it still feels perfectly playable. So I, I think it really is just gonna come down to an individual person's priorities and tastes and stuff. But yeah, it's worth mentioning. If you want it on Switch, you know, it doesn't perform as well, but yeah, again, that's to be expected. But on PC, ran really, really, really nicely. So yeah, that's, that's about it. That's Nickelodeon Kart Racers 3 Slime Speedway. It's fun. I, yeah, I mean, again, I'm not, you know, I'm not a <laughs> super, crazy kart racing fan or whatever uh but to me I, I don't know it's fun graphics are nice gameplay is nice lots of fun little twists on the uh you know the the formula that i am aware of love all the characters love the nostalgia the voice acting and all that stuff it's uh, it's a good time i enjoyed it
So that's Nickelodeon Kart Racers 3 Slime Speedway. Thanks once again to Game Mill Entertainment for sponsoring this video. The game is available on a whole bunch of platforms. I will tell you the platforms right now. It's Switch, Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S, Xbox One, PS4, PS5, and PC. There's also a Turbo Edition with exclusive bonus content, so check that out too. Thank you for watching, and if you'll excuse me, I have to go watch Rockhouse Modern Life now. <laughs> I'll see you later.